Hello. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. As we prepare to celebrate our sacred mystery, we first pause to tell God we are sorry for our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that putting off our old self with all its ways, we may live as Christ did. For through the healing paschal remedies, you have conformed us to his nature, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Stephen, filled with grace and power, was working great wonders and signs among the people. Certain members of the so-called synagogue of freedmen, Cyrenians and Alexandrians, and people from Cilicia and Asia came forward and debated with Stephen. But they could not withstand the wisdom and the spirit with which he spoke. Then they instigated some men to say, we have heard him speaking blasphemous words against Moses and God. They stirred up the people, the elders, and the scribes, accosted him, seized him, and brought him before the Sanhedrin. They presented false witnesses who testified. This man never stopped saying things against this holy place and the law. For we have heard him claim that this Jesus, the Nazarene, will destroy this place and change the customs that Moses handed down to us. All those who sat in the synagogue looked intently at him and saw that his face was like the face of an angel. The word of the Lord. <laughs> Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. No princes meet and talk against me. Your servant meditates on your statutes. Yes, your decrees are my delight. They are my counselors. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. I declared my ways and you answered me. Teach me your statutes. Make me understand the way of your precepts, and I will meditate on your wondrous deeds. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Remove from me the way of falsehood and favor me with your law. The way of truth I have chosen. I have set your ordinances before me. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. according to John. 
After Jesus had fed the 5,000 men, his disciples saw him walking on the sea. The next day, the crowd that remained across the sea saw that there had been only one boat there and that Jesus had not gone along with the disciples in the boat, but only his disciples had left. Other boats came from Tiberias, near the place where they had eaten the bread, when the Lord gave thanks. When the crowd saw that neither Jesus nor his disciples were there, they themselves got into boats and came to Capernaum looking for Jesus. And when they found him across the sea, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you get here? Jesus answered them and said, Amen, amen, I say to you, you are looking for me, not because you saw signs, but because you ate the loaves and were filled. <clears throat> Do not work for food that perishes, but for the food that endures for eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For on him the Father God has set his seal, so they said to him, What can we do to accomplish the works of God? Jesus answered and said to them, This is the work of God, that you believe in the one he sent. The Gospel of the Lord. The beginning of John's Gospel talks about Jesus' miracle where he performed, where he multiplied the loaves and the fish and fed thousands and thousands of people, just a few loaves of bread and a few fish. And it progresses on in the Gospel reading. And that miracle he performed is symbolic of the Eucharist. So eventually we'll be receiving again. Imagine what great day that will be when we can all gather again at church to celebrate the gift of Mass, to receive Jesus in Holy Communion. What a beautiful day that will be. As it progresses on in the gospel reading towards the end, Jesus says, do not work for food that perishes. In other words, just the physical food that we eat for our daily sustenance. Work for greater things than that. He says, work for the food that endures for eternal life. In other words, that's reference to the Eucharist, the spiritual food that we will receive sometime into the future. So what a great day that will be when that happens. And it closes with, which the Son of Man will give you. Jesus gave us the gift of himself, his body and blood at the Last Supper. We reenact that every time we celebrate Mass together in a church, in our community. So once again, what a great day that will be when we can all gather to celebrate the Eucharist together. Truly a beautiful day. our Bishop Joseph, Father Don, our pastor, and myself, the associate here at St. Leo's, all the priests, permanent deacons, and sisters working within our Grand Island Diocese. We pray to the Lord. For more seminarians, for our pre studying for the priesthood for our Grand Island Diocese, and in thanksgiving for the seminarians we do have, we pray to the Lord. For all who struggle with addictions of any kind, that they not despair, but receive the hope and strength they need from others. We pray to the Lord. For all who have died, that God take them swiftly to heaven and console their family and friends. We pray to the Lord. And now we pause in silence with our own intention.
ways and tensions we hold in the depths of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Amen. And for all going through transitions in their lives, that they continue to put their faith and trust in God, we pray to the Lord. God, our Father, we ask you to hear these names we place before you today, those just spoken, but also the unspoken ones we hold in the depths of our hearts. And we make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offering so that, purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. And lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to loud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the Lamb, once slain, who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, 
He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. 
that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. spiritual communion prayer my Jesus I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul since I cannot now receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. <clears throat> Almighty, ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. And thanks for watching our Mass today. I hope all of you have a great day. Heavenly Father, bless our diocese with the grace of many vocations to the priesthood, to the diaconate, and religious life. Through the intercession of the Blessed Mother, grant to those you have called the willingness and generosity of spirit to give themselves and devoting their lives and their talents to the service of our Lord and to his church. Increase the faith of all within our diocese and especially the faith of those you are calling. We ask this through Christ your Son, our Lord. Amen.